Rebecca Azor is in the house You know she got a funny story to tell Talking politics, culture, a real life-ish uh, I live in life in the ATL Benjamin, yeah, that's my man He's always coming up with the master plan Politics scheming, I'm trying to find the meaning of life And while the feds keeps us in strife I'm your DJ I really don't need no introduction right now But you know what? I stay dropping them jams Y'all know who I am Good hope, dad jokes, culture is politics. What you're hearing right now was the culmination of all of this. I started out with the mic in my hand, and I graduated to a plethora of fans. I love bringing joy to the people. It makes me feel great, makes me feel regal. I do what I do for you. 8 p.m. Friday, you know how we do. Let's go. It's time for like it or not. We're back to the Like it or not, y'all. 2023. Let's start this damn show. Let's go. Like it or not, starts now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Like It or Not, where we're free to tell the truth and not care who doesn't like it. <laughs> Okay, look, got the mics on because I was looking at mine like, is my mic even on, child? Mic is on. But um, how are we doing this morning? Oh, Rebecca sorry. Zor, how good are you? Morning. Good afternoon. I said good morning, child. I'm wrong myself. I am wrong myself. Good afternoon. Okay. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. How you doing? I'm doing all right. It's been forever and a day since we sat on the show. To get, not really, but you know, we it's, I hadn't seen you in about two weeks. How you doing? Everyone keeps saying that to me. They said that on 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 Thursday. Like I haven't. It feels like we didn't we didn't see you for two weeks. I'm like, no, nah, I was here last week, but my energy wasn't. Yeah, uh, uh. my energy wasn't. No, but I was here on like it or not. Oh, you know, I like, wasn't here. <laughs> yes, but but Benjamin P. Diction, he wasn't. He wasn't here. Ooh, um, Lord, I got caught I up see, with some. Uh, you look different today. What's different? I don't have the beanie on, and I'm showing my balding spot a little bit. Okay, no, well, look. Just going with the George Jefferson this morning. We haven't seen, no, we don't see George Jefferson. That's you saying that to yourself, okay? Okay, <laughs> like, we didn't, I was saying, I'm not, I, this has been a long time since I've seen the dome. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, hey, yeah. Harry, hey, flaw drag, so many people in the chat already. Hey, how y'all doing? No, listen, they like this afternoon. They, they be feeling like, I feel like they like the morning show in the afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, you know what? When we broadcast, we got to keep in mind that most people still try to go out late Friday night and then get mm -hmm. up. We're up at like ten o'clock on Saturday morning. That's, yeah, that's, that's no. I'm, I'm working. I'm working my nine to five. Oh, I'm working my nine to five. But I know I've been here pretty consistently, so people didn't know. But I've been. So what I'm doing right now is doing overtime. Mm. Yeah, so overtime has been taking up my Saturdays. That's why it's been a little bit funky with the time. Mm. So other than that, you know, but how's your Saturday been? I know you said, uh, you know, there was a lot happening for you, but how has the week been for you? You know, let's check in. What's going on? Well, you know, you look all right. You looking, you looking all right. You know, I didn't. I just because I, I <clears throat> listen. I, I'm not the best with communication right now, so uh, I, I, I didn't realize that it was. 10 minutes till we started <laughs> until 10 minutes before Two. we started. Mm -hmm. So I just threw on the first thing I had, but it's been a good week. We were in revival this week, Rebecca. I've been preaching on the channel. Oh, I, oh I, my I, gosh. And I've been missing you. I didn't know you were preaching on the channel. Oh no. I preached a couple nights. You go out. I got, I got, I got six nights of revival on the channel. I'm preaching to the people. I even hoop oh, night. Oh, a little bit of hoop, a little bit of hoop, you know, but no, nah, it's, it's, it's been, it's been, it's been good. I, uh, and I didn't, and I wasn't there for the amen corner. Well, I, I, we're not done completely. We're, we're, we're going now. We were doing Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday nights for the last two weeks. 
Um, so we got six nights of revival, and it's not, you know, it's an uh, it's a it's a revival showing up. Like I'm truly opening the doors of the I church, love that. inviting people to Christ. But I'm really talking to Christian nationalists more. I'm trying to help them get saved before Jesus comes back, right? Because I and that's the that's the Lord's work. Because I couldn't do it. Right, yes, exactly. Somebody I'm, who has to really be um in the lord somebody has to be really um doing the work to can be able to to, to say hey even those even then even christian nationalists can be saved listen i'm i'm convinced that there are going to be atheists in heaven before some of these christian nationalists um so we want to when, when i open up the doors of the church it's you know obviously any of my atheist friends who want to come and, and and meet my savior that's fine but these last six nights of revival have been to try to help our christian nationalist friends from going to hell I don't know if it's gonna work though. Dang, you trying to help them? You trying to help them not go to hell? That you a good one, man. <laughs> you a good one, man. Cause I'm like, send them straight there. Get yeah. them first class tickets to sit beside their maker. <laughs> sit beside <Yeah>. Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> sit beside all them. Mm -hmm. Columbus and them. It's a good week to send all them Christian nationalists to hell too. When you, I know you. Have you seen what they've been trying to do to Haiti this week? I know you have. Have I seen it? <laughs> have I seen it? The way that they're trying to, all of a sudden, these people who had no, they've been mute on the Haitian situation. All of a sudden, they're they're like, oh my gosh, we need to hurry up and 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 bring more militants, uh, more security to our borders because this is going to be a crisis for us. Yep. yep. Haitians coming and seeking asylum. They ter they call them terrorists, right? Mm -hmm. Now they they they're. I mean, they're really coordinated. Have you seen, and I know you have, but I'm saying this for the audience. Have y'all seen the coordinated attack against Haiti this week? My God. Mm. That's all I got. You seen Elon Musk bringing up uh, or allowing uh, misinformation to be put online. Of course, they're talking about cannibalism and people eating each other, and they don't want that to come to the United States. It happens right here in the United States, which I like to do. This is what's funny. Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh-huh. And not only Jeffrey Dahmer, Autumn, and what they look like over here. <laughs> White nationalists from the Caucasus mountains. Okay. So if we're going to call a thing a thing, let's call it a thing. Listen, whatever's happening in Haiti has been happening in Haiti for a long time. And, and a lot of the things that happen in Haiti are because of our former <laughs> owners, our colonizers. <laughs> and because we had the audacity, we being Haiti, that's my mother's land, that's my father's land, that's where a lot of my family is right now, going through these exact issues. So when we talk about what's happening with the Haiti, we can't talk about where Haiti is today and what's going on without talking about it historically. And that's why they're treated the way they are. When people, uh, uh, when they're seeking asylum, it's in, it, it, it is America's goal. It is France's goal. It is Canada's goal. It is all of these other countries who want to have a hand or who have had a hand in the misfortune of Haiti or Haiti not being able to actually move forward. It is their goal to make sure that they are viewed as the enemy, scary. They're viewed as bringing diseases. Yeah. Watch the Netflix. I remember during um the 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 during the beginning of the pandemic, Netflix put out a damn documentary that said Haitians were the, the AIDS came from Haitians. What? Mm hmm. It came up. It actually came up in my memories just on Netflix uh, two days ago, where I I went to Twitter and with my solo voice, sometimes yelling into the abyss. I was like, Netflix, y'all need to take that down. That is not true about Haitians, and the fact that you are putting this out there to all of your people who are watching this about the creation of time mm. Mm. and Haitians be uh, uh, Haitians literally <laughs> are the ones that get stuck with why AIDS exists. They, wait, wait, wait. I just, I just want to make sure I heard you right. You said that, and I don't, it's not that I don't believe you because- They took it down. Last night on Netflix, we we accidentally stumbled on to some fake documentary about Barack Obama that was clearly done by some right-wing propagandist. These fake things people. are on Netflix. Wow. Okay. Yes, so they yes, did they that are. for Haiti too. They did that with, it, it was a, a documentary about people and how people came about and just his history and they picked uh, a Haitians as they were talking about you know how people migrated where they and they got to that part about diseases and they said Haitians were the ones um that were responsible for AIDS 
becoming what it was. Um, so with that being said, though, even I apologize. That's a WhatsApp. I don't know why it's keep keep see people in Haiti. They call me. Um, <laughs> it's like with that being said, though, what we see happening is Haitian news is now to scare you about Haitians coming to America. It's not Period. enough that we are called constantly the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. Since I was a little girl who knows my country to be very beautiful, when my parents came, there was suffering there. That's why they came here. But it wasn't as it is today. Right. Um, it was just that they wanted a better living um, to, to be able to have their kids get a better education. Um, but the beauty of the land, the resources of the land have always been vast. And um, America... France, mm. and I'm just naming these these countries, they've all taken advantage of our resources and our because of our broken government. There are times I would say we had a, a, a government that made sense in some way, shape, or form. We even had a White House, which is now destroyed. Um, but we have no president now. Our president was assassinated um, uh, up to, uh, over two years ago. And we also have the our, our prime minister who took it, who stood in for our assassinated president. Ariel Henry, who was the prime minister, uh, Haitians were like, no, he's he's cozying up with a lot of these people, um, these a lot of the enemies in the government who have cozied up with people outside of Haiti to take advantage of Haiti during these times. So he has to go. So when, when he went to go do a meeting, because people want to know why was he out? Well, when he went to go do a meeting um, with Kenya to bring in Kenya forces, Kenyan forces to help calm the situations down because what they're trying to make it seem like it's just a gang issue gang it's a, it's a political issue it's a governmental issue it's the lack of leadership there right now because of what went on um and so they want kenyan people to come in uh kenyan militants to come in uh, to be on the front lines to battle off the gangs um and yes Gangs have got went to prisons. This is this is true, and freed prisoners. This, this is th these are facts. But this is a country right now that has no leadership. The place that is getting hit the most right now is PAP Port-au-Prince. That's where my my family lives right now. And but with that being said, this is a moment that countries like to take. Other countries will take advantage. Now they will start utilizing. Um, now they will start putting this in the news cycle. Now there's no leadership. They're like, oh, they have no leadership. What should we do? We should go in and start leading these people. They had a meeting and 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 I, I've had conversations with my own people and they're like, well, it needs leadership. I 100 percent agree with you. It definitely needs leadership. And the way that it needs leadership may not look like the way that the, the, the citizens of Haiti may want it right now, because there needs to be some kind of force in there to to battle off um, the, the bad people. OK, um, and that's the gangs and whatever. But it's not just the gang issue. It's, it's, it's been an environmental issue. Again, it's been a governmental issue. They've been taking control and not doing well for the country. There is just there is just a government running amok who is who is putting fear into the people and telling them that they have no opportunities, but yet giving other countries opportunities to come and take resources from the country. That's who we need outed. Just like any political party, just like how we do here. If we are saying that the people are wrong, what we're going to try to do, we're going to try to get them out. We're going to look for something better. And those people, but because they are poor or because they don't have, or because they are uh, um, um, perceived to be uneducated, they do not want them to have a voice. And this is what the media wants to show that Haitians don't have nothing. They don't have anything. My dad is very educated. He went to school in Haiti, speaks four different languages. My mother, same things. We went to school in Haiti. But as soon as they get here, for some reason, Black immigrants, and we'll look at Haitians. Haitians are treated the, the worst. The worst. At the bottom. Black immigrants are treated like nothing. Why is it that there is an actual war happening in Haiti? They don't want to verbalize as that. They For years, I've been saying it on the show. There is destruction since the uh, assassination of our president. They have taken to the streets and they have taken control. There is, but, but there is no, there, there are political gangsters. Y'all worrying about these street gangs. There are political gangsters taking control in Haiti right now, offering land, offering resources, partnering with, 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 with people outside of the country mm. to take control of the country. Mm. And the, um, the Haitian people don't, 
want that. So what we're seeing is that what we're seeing when we see the media, when we see the news, I need y'all to be careful what you're picking up in mainstream media. There are actual Haitian media sites that are giving the news to you, just like what you see in Gaza. People are calling it uh, Haiti right now, um, the, the Caribbean Gaza, right? Um, and I want people to understand there are people being unalived every day. And this is because of what they look like, who they are. Last week, oh no, earlier this week, Calicom had a meeting, Caricom had a meeting of leaders, seven leaders, about what the fate of Haiti is going to be. Now, no Haitian representation that actually made sense was in the room. And I'm going to name just a few. I think it's, like I said, Canada, mm -hmm. France, the U.S. Jamaica. Be, uh, Jamaica. Jamaica. Was that the one with uh, Secretary of State Blinken mm -hmm. with Jamaica? Yep. Jamaica was there. And I think it was two other um, people. And here is my issue with all of that. How are, this is, this is like white folks getting into a room and speaking about black issues. But this I is like when men go step out and tell women what they're going to do with their body in America. How does that make sense? Who can speak, of, who is the representation that makes sense in this room? Who can relate to this? This is... There, there are actual people that could have been in place in that room to take control, to, to, to have the conversation. No, but they're mm. acting like there's just nothing there. There's no one available. And that simply isn't true. They just don't want Haiti to look like they're actually, there are people with plans. There is, they want them to seem like there is no plan so that they can go take over. Mm -hmm. This is what, we, what we're seeing in Haiti is not, and unfortunately, we've seen this with other countries, particularly African countries, right? Where these countries, they're third world countries that are they, that lack, that don't have, and because of the political powers that be. That's right. That's right. You know, you you said you said um, seeing all those white folks and and not even just white folks, folks who are not even from Haiti, sitting at the table with Secretary of State Anthony Blinken discussing the fate of Haiti, and I don't believe I saw any Haitian representative at that table which speaks to exactly what you're talking about, Rebecca. And it, it, it reminds me, well, a couple things, before I go to the colonial part of it, um, I, 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 no one is talking, besides you, no one is talking about the fact that two years ago, the assassination of the president led directly to this. And even after the assassination of the president, it was like, boom, conversation's over, no investigation. Did, did, did we ever figure out like, why the president was assassinated, who did it, and what their political connections were, because there's going to be a straight line from what happened two years ago to what's happening right here in Haiti. And this goes right, how many times have we seen this in, in, in underdeveloped or overexploited nations where the assassination of a president leads to imperial powers coming in and taking over, leads to Haitians not having control over their own nation, just like so many other nations in history. They kill the leader and then there's chaos. And in the chaos, governments that aren't even from there go in and take over. And this is what people are advocating for this week. Talk, not talking anything about how we got here. Not talking about anything about the, like you said, the political gangsters that are behind. Them. They're worried about gangsters in the streets. I, I, I really... Hands off, hate. That's all I got to say because they they really yeah, no, done this free, so many times Hades. in the past. And here, here's the thing, and I I want you to understand. There does, for me, in my opinion, because I am Haitian and because I know what's happening there, we do need forces to come in there and to battle off the people who have taken control in the streets. Right? Um, that's facts. But when I tell you that I don't need it to come from people who already look at Haitians in a certain type of way. Right. We don't need those to be the people that are coming to the front line because everybody's going to get shot down. Everybody, they're going to clear that, they're going to obliterate the people and then they're going to come and take control. Then we're going to start looking at gentrification all up in Haiti, um, uh, more of it because it's already been happening. Um, people are going to start, We they want control, they want Haiti. Be you can't talk about what's going on in Haiti and not talk about the history of it. Come on. We had the audacity. And let me tell you something. I said this, and y'all know when I say this, I say it with a, my neck rolling and my hands in the air because I mean that. What y'all need to understand is that Haiti is the first black republic in the world. They are the first black independent country, not in the, the nation, not on this side of the, the Himalayas, <laughs> in the world. In the world. I ain't been mad at in them ever the since. In the entire world. 
They've been okay? pissed with y'all ever since, Rebecca. And they made us pay for it, and we thought that would be enough. While they made us pay for it, we, when we walked around while France was connecting with the U.S. and doing all of that, we went to the U.S. while we were still paying France because we had the audacity. We went to the U.S. and helped them get some states, fight to get states. Louis Louisiana purchased. Louisiana, why Chicago? Were, listen, we did that. Haitians, Latin countries, same ones that turned their noses up at us. But when you look at their flag, it got that red and blue in it because we helped them gain their independence. Speak. Yeah, but put some respect on these those. I'm sorry, Rebecca. They've been so disrespectful this week. I, I've been looking forward to hearing you what you got to say about it. And I'm that this is what I'm saying. So when the conversations do arise, we can say a thing is a thing and call a thing a thing. Haiti does need leadership, and right now it needs a little bit of some 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 tough leadership in there. They, it needs to go. Somebody needs to care about the country enough to go in there, be tough enough, clear out some stuff, get some structure in there. We need that. Haiti needs that. I'm not going to lie to you. However, who it, who it's coming from? matters that's right and and whether or not the people it's coming from are connected to the assassination of the uh, uh, of the president is what i Let's really talk want about to know it. because it's still in uh, under investigation they've said they even wanted to bring in his um his widow into um his widow into a, a interview now they're accusing her um you know they want to question her more um there are other people who are now coming into play my thing is why this is a conspiracy, what I'm about to say. This ain't truth. This hasn't been checked. But it's all coming at a time. But what the truth of, about the situation is, after the assassination, it was like it became a free-for-all. I need y'all to understand that they were looking for holes, right? More holes uh, that they probably been poking. But they were looking for more holes and opportunities for them to come and take over the country. They want to make Haiti to the point where they can't live mind you all this is going on we done we done we done made a canal with just the community a working canal for fresh water to flow we made that at the border of where so many haitians were massacred in a war between haiti and Domin the dominican republic mm. and that same area where so much haitian was um, bloodshed was we built a canal to separate us from them since they don't want us there and for fresh water to flow, to be part of our resources, to help us grow things and all. That was made by Haitian hands. Haitian hands, the community, older people, people in wheelchairs. But while all this is going on, Haiti is still doing what they need to do. But you won't see that make news. That's right. The gangs have been there. The gangs have been there. When I was in Haiti, I watched, I watched gangs hit the street and people in high places join in. With, I watched it, join in, break bread together. I watched it with my own eyes. Politics has been dirty over there. That's why it is the way it is. That's why it is the way it is. We need a better leadership, just like any other country. But there, so why when Haiti is asking for it, but we like to take to the streets, right? We like to go and protest and do all of those things. Why when Haiti gets there, um, it's like they had to show cannibalism. Hey, let me let me ask you a question, Rebecca. From from what you know of the, I'm I'm saying quote unquote gangs because I don't know anything about the actual. I don't accept the narrative that's given to me by this by the Department of State on any <laughs> black country. I just I just don't. Now, it is not saying that they could be wrong, but from what you know on the ground and people who are there and experiences, tell us what are the motivations of these quote unquote gangs. And I'm saying quote unquote gangs until you confirm and say, like, okay, who are they? And then particularly the the leader that they're promoting now, uh, Jimmy. Um, I can put out his last name, but they're, they, they are creating a narrative. And before I even acknowledge that a narrative, I, I want to know what people are saying on the ground. So for you, you're talking about, uh, the, the leadership in place of Ariel Henry, right? Well, well, no, uh, yeah. So, so we got, uh, the, the prime minister, right. But I'm also thinking about, uh, Jimmy, uh, Cherizier, Cherizier. Yeah, Cherizier. Yeah. 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 They don't even want him because he's not qualified to even do any presidential anything. So now they're looking like, I, right. at first they were like, let's keep him. He's somebody that we can probably work with. He wants good for the, the country, but now they want to do due process and they're saying that he doesn't qualify for a pres to be a president because what we're looking for was what Ariel Henry was supposed to do. And that was supposed to start making steps towards 
getting uh like the um going and campaigning for presidency mm -hmm. bringing that back in so we can get a, a proper government so we can have a president and he was holding that off i was gonna say so ari was holding that off and the people yes, are like hell no and partnering with other countries and they're like hey hey oh nah see something a little sketchy about this so what happened was when he went over to kenya and this is facts for those of you who don't know why he can't he, he, he ain't there no more when he went over to kenya then haitians went to the airport on the day he was supposed to come back they went to the airport and they said if he comes they'll be waiting for him <laughs> and so he couldn't even land at the airport he had to land in puerto rico mm. One thing about Haitians, and this may be a good thing, this may be a bad thing. If they don't want you there, they will find a way to oust you out of the country. So he's not being back. So. No, he hasn't. But my thing about that is that was also opportunity. The, the, le the leader of the country at the time, our prime minister, left. There was no leadership in our country at the time. Gangs also all of a sudden took to the streets. And this is what, I this is what I'm telling you. Political gangsters allowed that to happen so this is not to me all just so oh, it's just falling into play this is plans these are there's a plan here for haitians to next thing you know we look up and all of that history that listen that we fought for all those years ago in 1804 what you talking about so you we're gonna look up and see we have a white leader hmm. Hell no, those Haitians will not allow it. And that's why they will burn, you know, uh well, how they said it, uh boule, boule, boule kai, uh coupe tete boule kai. That's what they said back in the day. Um, I don't know if I should be, I don't know if I should uh, interpret it, but that's what they said back in the day. And um it's basically do whatever you can to save this country. We ain't we don't care what we don't care what the sacrifice gonna be. We do not care. We would not allow um it to be taken all that history to be taken over. Now, does there need to be order? Absolutely. Absolutely. Does there need to be some kind of structure? 100 percent Do we need some kind of uh leadership that has that can dictate what's going on right now? So to clean up some messes. 100%. But we need somebody to be able to go in with all of that and still be able to think about the people and the country and like have not let everybody just keep having access in to this gold mine. That's right. That's right. This is the pearl of the Antilles. La pelle de la Antilles. This is that's what it is. So for us to have, to be letting this pearl of the Caribbean keep getting used and abused because we're paying for our independence and then the 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 how how uh the media wants to define us has always defined us we I've never heard the media since I've been alive say good things about um Haitians I've got bullied because I've been Haitian I was on a show on Thursday. I, I wasn't gonna mention this. I was on a show on Thursday on um on the Leftist Mafia. We had a guest, right? Even to me, how she was talking to me, how she viewed Haitians to me, and this is just how I feel about it, was a little off. That's how people in Florida view view them. Ooh. Oh, you know, I don't even know what they're saying. They're not speaking your language. You say that about Spanish people. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be messy, but who? Who got some? I don't even. I don't I'll, I'll, go, I'll go look at the clip. I'll go look at the clip. Go ahead. I'm not even trying to be messy. No shade to the guest. But I'm saying this is, we're viewed that way so much that people think it's okay to say these kind of things. I don't even know. I don't even have time out. There's so much, like, they're all in South Florida. So, they, like, do you really, like, I didn't even know what they, I don't know what you guys, like, I don't know what they say. You don't know what they say because you're not Haitian and you don't speak Creole. Simply. Why was she even on? Sorry. Let me not. That's a different show, different channel. Love them. Uh, Love them. Love them. So, so Love Re Rebecca, them. let me ask you this, though. Um, I don't know. I, I just. That's me. The Why portrayal of Haitians this week is barbaric. Mm -hmm. um, especially from people who are the the kings and queens of barbarity america mm -hmm. you you can't you, you can't really talk about the destabilization of any of the nations in that region without talking about american foreign policy which is one of the reasons i i really want there to be a full investigation into the ties that took out the president that led to this now that said there are a lot of conservatives every single channel every single republican conservative channel commentator from ben shapiro down to tim pool they are all provoking 
in promoting the idea of the United States outright invading Haiti. Mm -hmm. And to me, that seems like that would have been the point the whole time, mm -hmm. all the way back to the assassination. Yeah. Ben, you said you used the word that needed to be, people don't understand. They want to invade Haiti. And I want people to understand when I say that so many people have already tried and attempted and they've taken a piece of Haiti with them. Mm. They've taken a piece of our vibranium with them. And um, this is this is where I say it's problematic. And I, I repeated this on, on the other show. I've repeated this to people in conversations. I've repeated this and people don't think this is a point that should matter. But this, Bill Clinton isn't the only person that's done what he's done in oh. Haiti. And I'm talking about Bill and Hillary. They're, they're not the only people, but I can use them as an example. Because if you just a simple Google search with actual video of Bill Clinton that is not AI is apologizing for what he did in the country, take away resources, him and his wife apologize. And mind you, the blame isn't only on him and his wife. Red Cross. And Red Cross came later. Bill Clinton and his wife did something else. Went over, take some land, took some of our rights, took that rice some, uh, um, um, resource somewhere else. That That's where we were building our money. Long time ago, rice was our thing. Nobody could touch Haitian rice to this day. But nobody could touch Haitian rice. But when you go to the stores, you're looking at Haitian rice and it's saying it was produced in Thailand. Madam Gugus, produced in Thailand. These are things that a lot of our resources and stuff for what? Why was it taken from us? And they were paying people for land. They're taking it from them and they're paying people close to nothing. People don't even know the value and they're taking it from them. They're coming in and saying they have the right. And I can go to that's Bill Clinton apologizing. Um, go ahead and look at this before the people saying what I did. And this is not going to matter. He knows the apology ain't going to change nothing. That's right. And can't bring back nothing. That's right. That's right. Hillary Clinton, if I can get the numbers, because I used to quote it like it was a Bible verse. But I got so sick of it. If I can quote the number of the amount of money that her and the Red Cross had had raised on behalf of Haiti. Hmm. But only built six homes. Hmm. Six. Count them. Six homes. And Haiti doesn't even need, need a lot of money to build homes. Haiti doesn't, you give Haiti a million bucks, we can flip that, dip that, do what we need to do, put it in the right hands, build a community, it can happen. But the amount of money that was raised, again, I used to know it by, by heart, and I used to repeat it because people were just like on the Hillary chain, and I just kept repeating that number. But the amount of money that was raised and where did it go? <laughs> I know one of your favorite activists who uh, helped raise some money um, on behalf of Haiti and used the black church to do it. Haiti never seen a dime. One of my favorite activists. I, I can Not just yours. guess. It ain't it, it ain't yours, but they call they call him Talcum. I don't know, but he ain't even Christian no more. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> With that being said, do you remember Harlem Nights? Do you remember the movie Harlem Nights? You you know you. It's funny you asked me that before on the show, and I was such an itty bitty. I I have never watched it in my older age, you, so no. You still gotta watch it. There's a scene where Red Fox and, and, and my church members. I'm sorry, I'm about to you have to forgive me. Red <laughs> Fox is talking about a woman who uh, uh, provided services to a man so good that he changed his religion. Mm. <laughs> and Red Fox mm. said, "It must be some hell of a." For a man mm -hmm. to change his guides, that must mm. be some hella cash for a man to change yeah. his guides. Oh, my, the money, the money for those people. This it is the thing. Your favorite people, the people that y'all love so much, and it's okay why you love them, but you got to understand why I don't. <laughs> you got to understand why I don't. <laughs> there, I've had interaction, or I am what they're hurting. Mm. So, like, please understand. <laughs> You got to understand why I don't. So I, I won't sit here and say, dang, we just needed this great leader because she's a woman. And no, this this lady is part of a reason why um, turmoil was in my country. I don't a leader that doesn't see my people as people. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Donald Trump said that Haiti was a shithole country and that literally we saw how they treated Haitians under the bridge. Come on. We saw how they treated Nigerians who were coming in with Ukrainians. Come on. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. 
right in our faces, right? Like, like, I mean, but but then again, they're committing genocide right in our faces and telling us it's not that. So, you know, we just got to kind of understand what kind of world we're living in. Mm -hmm. Can I just share one thing, which I don't know how much more you got Please on the story. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm. I, it's not. I didn't even have time. I didn't come with. I didn't come with anything. I just came. I. I just came with what I. I am. I'm Haitian. Mm, <laughs> so I just came. Facts. With, yes. Can, David, put on screen the tweet from uh, Tim Pool. You might have to zoom in because I want people to really see very clearly mm. what this um, saltine cracker who's out of the box. Um, is promoting we should invade haiti just straight out saying now he said this on his program he has said there's so many other commentators have said this but i, I just want to put up what i replied to him david because i'm so serious about this especially with tim pool i disrespect this man so much that if he tweets one more time i want him to say it audibly i i've, I've tagged him on every single platform I want to say it audibly. If you say invade Haiti one more time, Tim Pool, I am going to have a homegoing ceremony for your dead cat that just died this week. Mm. I am going to line a him, take a scripture, and talk about how the only cat that you ever got in your life has left you. <laughs> I just want that on the record. I'm done. You got it. The rest of this. I'm good. And not only that, listen, you already know what they say about Haitians. We probably did. We probably turned somebody for him into the cat and ate it. <laughs> yeah, I could say it. I'm Haitian. Stop playing with us. Invade Haiti. Are you serious? Are you serious? Invade Haiti. Have I? Did y'all say I want to go and invade Ukraine? Did y'all say y'all want to like? Tell me why are these invade Haiti? Well, actually, he is one of those that wanted to invade Ukraine. Uh, he's pro Putin, so yeah. You see, yeah, what's the, right. so 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 I don't understand the audacity. Like, I'm going to. I don't. Preachers have set up and had conversations. Uh, what's that man's name that's married to Shawnee O'Neal? That pastor sat there and said, because Haiti, and this is why I don't yes. go to, um, yeah. yeah, okay, so I forget his name, but Shawnee O'Neal's husband had a conversation, uh, and this went viral too, uh, didn't have a conversation, was preaching this to his, his congregation. Haiti is going through what they're going through because of our history with voodoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah. America. <laughs> does witchcraft and they deserve to be the best country in the world? America kills people because of the color of their skin. America will kill you because you don't believe in what they believe in. America will literally side with a country that is committing genocide before our eyes, the country full of kids um 14, and keep using an excuse that it's because of a one like a group of people so because of this this group of people and like i said we condemn hamas over here but because of this group of people the whole country must die the whole country the whole, the whole country must pay the whole country must be obliterated mm -hmm. when that was actually what they wanted from the get-go that's right. why they ousted those people into that small community mm -hmm. past time which is why they're now trying to set up the same scenario by making us terrified of Haitians. And I promise mm -hmm. you on anything, y'all try they to wanted. invade Haiti. Y'all, y'all don't. Oh, you know, come on, y'all. Until the last Haitian is, we not playing that. There will be none of that. That's why it's been so difficult. It's been easy for them to come and take resources right. and secretly do this. And while they said they, they um, in January, they want, they want to know parts of this, but now they're sitting in a meeting with Kaikom, um, all of a sudden, earlier this week, U.S. said they wanted no parts. U.S. being um, our current administration did not want any parts of it. When Joe Biden was, um, and I'm not gonna, and this is not Joe Biden's issue either. But I'm saying the U.S. and in, in, in its history with with how they've treated Haitians um, and the lack of treatment for Haitians. Um, but when Joe Biden was campaigning, he did mention Haiti. To the point where during they, the Haitians couldn't wait for him to win. They had one of his his uh, tweets about what he's going to do for Haiti in hand. And the rollbacks of some of the, the promises came in the form of, hey, uh, you know who used this to um, um, Trump? So not only did Trump use it, they brought it back under um, 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 what, Joe Title Biden. 42? Title 42. Hey, it's under the guise of, hey, uh, 
we don't want COVID being spread here. So this is why we can't allow them to come in to the country. Yet Ukrainians were coming into the country because of the same reason. Somebody said, um, where did you get all this info? None in history. Which resource did you lift all these from? I, I wonder if they're in the right chat. Mm. Because no, it's okay. No, no, clearly... no. For some reason, this conversation bring, brings in people like this. And yes. I, I don't look in the chat and see this, but I know that's why they want mods in my chat. And I apologize, guys, I didn't get the opportunity to um, adjust the mods. I got y'all because um, they want to definitely um, get these people out. But it's not, It's I don't have to really go toe to toe with those type of people. I am Haitian. Well, they just don't know. They don't know history. That Yeah, they don't, they don't know history. I don't just Google. D yes. Google the Louisiana Purchase. Yes. Haiti been riding Google. for the United States. Of just, 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 just Google these things. Um, just Google. <laughs> Google. Who? Google the only person to beat Napoleon's at arse. Please. Come on, black man. Please, Haitian. please, please, just Google. And There's it's no okay. United States of America as we know it today without Haiti. Mm -hmm. Please do. And, and, and my thing is like, it's a lot of black countries. There wouldn't be no United States because, and for, first of all, there wouldn't be no United States. There wouldn't be America f like without indigenous people because it never belonged to the people who came here and took it away from those people. So historically, this is what America is known for going to people's lands and, and invading and, and calling Indeed. it theirs mm -hmm. and calling it their own. You know what the barbecue story reminds me of the, no, not the barbecue story, but the cannibalism story, mm -hmm. the beheaded babies. In Gaza, mm -hmm. that never manifested, mm -hmm. right? I, I'm like, they are really masters of taking the most horrific and um, stories, even if they make them, like, literally, will make them up and say, "Hey, this is why we should go over here and kill these people, so we can, you know, then take their land and put settlements on it." Yeah, and and see, that's the problem. People want want to have these conversations, and I think it's like I said, I'm 100 for structure. I think we need right now when somebody's trying to get chaos in order, there has to be leadership that comes with some kind of uh, dictation. Like they need to know they need to put some order that has to come like that's just going to have to come and it's going to have to be tough. But again, where it's coming from, who it's coming from and where the person's heart is, that's going to matter. I don't care what nobody says. Like politically, we Ain't nothing political over there. Political po politics is all over the place. So it's fair game. Bring somebody in that can make some real change. We we got that opportunity over there. The help that we need, give us the money, put it in the right hands. It's just we had so many political gangsters playing in our face between money, between pit, pit, the, the gas uh, and oil that we had that we owed another country that we finally were able to pay back on a, 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 a discount debt. Like, We've been trying our best to do all of these things and clean up ourselves, but what they keep doing, same way they want to do with black folks in every one of these white countries, is what they will do is keep on making us pay. Keep on making right. us pay. Right. Keep on making, oh, they, they, they got through this debt. Keep on, keep like, oh, they did this. Let's send gangs into their community. And I'm telling you, I've seen it with my own eyes. I was in Haiti. Beautiful day. Oh, beautiful day all of a sudden and I, it was a day um the president came by it was just so nice and functioning this is um post earthquake so and then i was chilling and next thing you know it was just a whole bunch of gangs hitting the street and they were having conversations and they were saying saying how and i was sitting with them they were saying how they have and it was them and political leaders how they are in cahoots with each other. They get to tell who to go and put fear into. They get to go and sit with, this is facts. So it's political gangsters. It's not only, and mind you, everywhere we're going to have bad apples amongst the people too. Yes. How my partner says, yes. <laughs> yes. We're going to have bad apples amongst the people here. Be so you're telling me because there are because y'all don't want us to call y'all because there are bad people here we should just stop living our lives we don't get that opportunity so haitians are still going to live their lives they're still going to fight for their freedom they're still going to fight for good things even amongst the fear and what's going on there people that are in these they can't go anywhere they try coming here they're, they're making plans right now without knowing what we're what um the the governor Ron DeSantis is saying whatever they're making plans to hop on boats and things to get their kids into safety because of what's going on right. and instead of opening the doors and allowing them to come 
because of what's going on, they're going to be treated like, oh, we don't need any people coming to, uh, to uh, uh, commit cannibalism. We don't need anybody to bring diseases. We don't want these people who are um, thugs uh, and, and terrorists to come to our land. That's right. Meanwhile, there are people who ran up at the Capitol on January 6th who still get to fly first class in Delta. Don't forget the Cuban flotilla. I just want to right. remind people we've accepted quite, but we've known for generations, well, not generations, but decades now that the United States, particularly Florida, particularly when you have people like Ron DeSantis, they're going to always open the doors. Mm -hmm. People who have a complexion that matches theirs, but they're going to always vilify. They are never mm -hmm. going to open up the doors of this country to people that don't look like them. And we've seen mm -hmm. this from Ukraine. Now, shout out to the Ukraine ref Ukrainian refugees. I stand in solidarity with them. Mm -hmm. We want them to survive, Vladimir Putin. Fine, mm -hmm. come on to the United States, but don't separate the Nigerian refugees from them. And then, and then, and then, if you got to, because that happened, but it happened. And it's, it yeah. continuously happens. Yeah, we're not saying that because it's like, oh, don't do it. This is what we're saying it because it happened. <laughs> like, and this is what <sighs> former President Donald Trump literally said: Nigeria was a shithole country. Haiti was a shithole country. That was not just by chance. That's because he needed to put that rhetoric out there. There are there, there are countries that are predominantly black. They're predominantly black. They're black goddamn countries. And because they're black, they have to be viewed at in such a way. And then conversations about invasion. Just casually. Let's go invade another nation. Let's talk to your leader. And when they talk to the leader, it's like, hey, yo, this is what's going to happen. Leader's like, well, this is what we want to, to happen in the country. Yeah, we heard you, but this is what's going to happen. You know why? Because Haiti is still paying because they had the audacity to fight for their freedom and win. And that is the problem. That is the issue. We are still paying for it. Do you think that we want to live lives like this? Do we want to go and keep burning down tires to make a freaking, do we want to hear gunshots every night that, you know, and I'm saying we, because that's my family that's out there. So do you think that this is something that they want to do? My brother, who y'all hear me talk about my oldest brother all the time, who is um, always in Haiti, has to go another route to make it there. Had to come, didn't want to come here, by the way. Didn't want to come here. Got his kids and brought them here and was like, I didn't, this, this ain't for me. And now he can't even go back to go visit family and give us the updates that we usually need and get when these things are happening. When wow. these things are taking so your brother's here? My brother is right now. He's in the, right now he's in the DR. Okay. Okay. Well, no, I was going to say, well, I mean, I mean, I, I hear mm -hmm. what you're saying, but I was glad he's not there though right now. Yeah, so, but I got my my my, my aunties, my cousins, got other family um, there. all of the majority of my family is here. I'm first generation, so it was just my mom, my dad. Everybody's there. Yeah, everybody's there. Mm. Everybody's in Haiti. I I got one aunt that finally got the opportunity to get away, and she got away in Chile. She's in Chile. So. Don't worry, we ain't got the last name, last name. Y'all don't know, so y'all can't find her. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but yeah, she's in Chile, and she America wouldn't accept her, so she went to Chile, and she's living a a, a better life. Um, if you go to Chile, the, you, there are spaces there in Chile where you'll see Haitians who are sleeping outside because they also get treated a certain kind of way. Um, when you go to the Dominican Republic, I got family over there. So when you go there, You'll see where people are afraid to speak Creole because they don't want to lose their jobs. They are mass deporting Haitians from next door, next door to the Dominican Republic. They're mass deporting the Haitians. The DR will never cease to be <laughs> hilarious to me. I know black. It, <laughs> like they really believe that they are specially different. That like they they really they really have this mindset that just because there's a, a fictional line that separates them on the same exact island, the same island, and because I guess maybe they have a few less melanin count. Yeah, I mean, what? Because they got a little a little curl in their hair. Maybe when my when, when I wash my hair, we got the same. Um, and it's crazy because they just it's okay. Our country, we love to 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 be black. We like we. That's why they they hate us so much in the churches. They'll say they're still utilizing, um, you know, voodoo, all this stuff because Haitians, our our language is French mixed with some some Spanish mixed with African dialects. That's why our language sounds the way it does. Um, and we kept a lot of uh a, a lot of the African 
cultures, traditions, we kept that. And so they'll utilize us in the church and have these conversations and say, that's why this country is going through what they're, what they're, what they're going through. That's a lie. That's why I had to the, leave the church. That's a lie the from the pits of hell, by the way. Go ahead. From the pits of hell. That's why I had to leave the church I was going to originally because I remember when the pastor was preaching that, um, that, that church is predominantly African. And when he started to say that about Nigeria and African countries, you could hear a pin drop in the church. And he's a white man. And he said, I can say that because I have a little bit of melanin. That man was tan. He said, it's a little bit of Cherokee in me. And I didn't even want to say the name of that church. I can, but I ain't that type of girl. I, I ain't that you type should, of girl. No, we're calling out false prophets in these days. These are mm. the times that you got to, anybody out here who's promoting that God is punishing Haiti because of voodoo. I'm I'm put voodoo in, in quotation marks because let's let's not talk about the snake handling that goes on in the Midwest and in the South of across yeah. this country. But I guess yeah. anybody who's teaching that the from two biblical people out there in them corners in the backwoods, what they be doing and people don't want to talk about. And and and, and 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 let's not talk about you know you heard about voodoo, but y'all ain't saying nothing about all that child molestation insurance y'all got at y'all okay. churches. You think God? Who was, who was Paula calling on talking about some African, African angel, angels? African angels. Hello, 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 my friend. Africa, 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 Africa. And she was bouncing a little. It was you. Y'all thought that was the Holy Ghost. No, that was that was Paula White supremacist. Put a put a put a broom right between them legs. You want to see the fly right up there, which. <laughs> Which now Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. So we're not in mm. any trouble this morning. Okay, I told you. Listen, life. no, no man. Listen, people like those people, and like I said, Ben, I think that you are doing the Lord's work when you say that they still are allowed an opportunity to, you know, turn the right way. That's right. And that's very godly. That's very godly of you. And I, I'm not there yet. I want everybody to have a chance. And um, with that. Not her. Paula White used to be the black folks person back in the day. People used to quote her, like they quote Joyce Myers. Like oh, they quote I, love, I used to love jo Joyce Myers. What's a smiley face man? Joel. Joel. <laughs> the Joker. The, um, mm -hmm. How, we were all quoting these people, you know, and now they're quoting Donald Trump. Now they're quoting Donald Trump. Turn, turn it and up, David, because so we can hear how, how, how. Strike, see, strike, they love black strike, stuff when they can use it for their own good. Victory. Mm -hmm. But for when it's not for their own good, the they call it voodoo. Let there be. They, that we listen, would they're the talking about voodoo. Listen to her incantations. Um, Meanwhile, in the church, I hear a sound of this is what they're doing because of politics. I hear a sound of shouting and singing. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of an abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of an abundance of rain. I can't keep hearing that. No, no, I just want to dissect it. Watch this. It's coming. Yeah, keep rebuking it. That's fine. That's fine. She's casting a spell. That's the, that's the rhythmic pattern she's trying to encamp. She's casting a spell. The mm. Lord said it is done. She got the rhythmic I pattern. It. I rebuke it. You can't keep playing that in my ear because for me in my house, we serve the Lord. <laughs> Not Donald Trump. For me in my house. <laughs> get the behind, get the behind me saying, and I'm Haitian. So don't play with me. <laughs> Uh -huh. I'm just saying, like, for anybody, because I, I think I heard uh, um, the man who's dead now um, from the 700 Club, he finally died. He looked like the Crypt Keeper before he died. Um, somebody in the chat room helped me out because he said the same thing. He said Haiti went through what it went through because of voodoo, but didn't say not an every thing about the, the reparations. I'm going to use that word particularly, that Haiti had to pay France every single year at gunpoint. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, France pulled up on the shores of Haiti with warships and demanded reparations for Haiti beating them and breaking the bands of slavery. Mm -hmm. And it's you have all of these white Christians who want to contextualize mm -hmm. Haiti's problems for voodoo, but they say not a thing about white supremacy. Mm -hmm. Pat Robertson, thank you. Pat Robertson, I, I wish I could, um, Dion, is it Dion, D Neon, whatever, sh 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 um, Shawnee O'Neal's. Oh, okay, yeah. That ain't her husband, I, I mean. I don't really know. O'Neal's not her last name anymore because now she's married to this man. Is Dion, whatever his name is, but he's one of them, that pastor, um, I would just say out in Gwinnett at that mega church. Mm, mm. Um, he's one of them. Um, he, and I've heard other pastors have this kind of conversation, but like I said, they're quoting people all day. They're quoting, you know, I don't like this, um, but I don't care who you are. Again, I don't 
care. I'm quoting in sync. I feel like I don't care who you are, what you've done, where you've been. That could be Backstreet Boys. But if you say anything about Haiti, I'm running up. And if it's misinformation, I'm running up. Tim, we have hmm. Haiti. Y'all want to keep having these conversations because it's fitting to keep having these conversations so that when they try to plan to invade, they can say, look what's, look at Haiti historically, look at Haiti, look at Haiti. And when they talk about historically, they keep saying the poorest country in the Western hemisphere. Why? But the thing is, when you look at histor um, the history of Haiti, Haiti was one of the, the lands where people had to come and get a lot of resources because it was so damn rich. rich. When Columbus talked about Haiti, he was like, dang, these people got so much. The, the the Taino people, they got the, the culture here is so rich. Um, look at well, look how they look look how they received me. The way that he talked about my ancestors, the people that were before me that blended with the Africans to make me like listen, historically, it wasn't what people just go all the way back before the Haitians had to fight for the freedom of this land. We rebelled as freaking slaves, enslaved people. We rebelled and said, we will not be in this country with these white folks just to, having us work day and night. We are going to need a life. And because we have the audacity to get displaced from what we knew mm -hmm. to a country we didn't know that they killed the original people off of put us there and we said hell no nah. for the people that they killed and for us being enslaved to come here to work for them we're going to we we are going to do whatever it is to overthrow those people and we are going to make a life for ourselves and them crackers have been mad ever since they have been mad ever since they have been mad ever since. And you know, that's the type of energy that colonizers have. In America, we see that if, if, if you ever see a black man thriving in a business above a white person and has the audacity to make a plan that helps that company grow, <laughs> you won't see him again. <laughs> you won't see him again. Me as a black woman, speaking about my country, my culture, sitting amongst a white woman who did not know a thing but kept on speaking over me just to be heard. Those are the reasons why you don't see me in the rooms because the educated black person, the black person that has the audacity, the empowered black person, the one that actually nice. has something to say back to your ignorance, they are the problem. We are all the problem. That's why you see, and I'm gonna take it right here, yeah, I know we're talking about Haiti, but the same thing that you see that Haiti is paying for, black channels in these spaces are playing, paying for because we have the audacity to have these conversations and they don't want this to be at the forefront. Preach, Becca. <laughs> Preach. You preaching today. And I'm just going to end it right there. I'm but look tired. who they do give money to. Mm -hmm. look, who, look what black folks they do give money to. Mm -hmm. They give look. money to black folks who are going to help promote the narrative of black mm -hmm. barbarity. Yeah. Come on. Yep. That's all we're going to see. Tip, tip. And then if you look at the history of those black people who are now making money um, in those ways, they have all started off on the right side. That's right. Of, of Come on. Clandis Owens, Vernon Moore from Georgia. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 look, I, we can say Clarence Stop. All these yeah. people. Um, if you The way that Tim Scott speaks Tim when he's Scott. around these people... Come on. Did, <laughs> what's what's our guy's name from uh, Fat Albert? Tim Scott's doppelganger. Oh, somebody shoot. somebody in the chat would say it. But so you got Tim Scott, you got uh uh a Vernon The Dump. man they threw away that they, um remember that um, oh, oh uh, uh Herbert Walker, Her Herschel, Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker. We don't even talk. Remember I said we never we're never going to speak of him again. We almost forgot him. Almost forgot him. <laughs> <laughs> we're never going to speak Wesley of him again. Wesley Hunt. Wesley Hunt. <laughs> Yo. <Mush mouth. laughs> That's the character name. Much. <laughs> you go. For, they, they get all the money though. Hey, listen. I don't know who's who's foolish though, Rebecca. If we know that's the place to go get the bag, and we just consistently say, "Nah, we just mm -hmm. keep working our job." It's true. Who's really the fools here? Us or yeah. Them? And that's the thing, Ben. Like you, you're doing the Lord's work. So this is what we're doing here, even in the space when we are screaming into the abyss, like we're on Threads on Instagram. <laughs> When they block all of us. <laughs> listen, I can't even get twelve retweets no more. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Listen, we be on, we be on threads like. Anybody hear me? 
Spirit. <laughs> is anybody there? All right, you're not. Is this thing on? Still, I'm still gonna speak. <laughs> I'm still gonna say. It. I'm still gonna run up in y'all timelines and say that's whatever it. I want to say. Y'all, I know they hear it though. I know they hear. So it. just like you, Ben, mm -hmm. that's what we're doing in this space. And unfortunately, like I said, I love everybody. I love look all fifty of the people in my chat. Mm -hmm. If you haven't liked, shared, or subscribed on any of these pages, the Benjamin Dixon Show or on Rebecca Azor, please do us a favor and do so. Um, because of these conversations that we need to have. These are the conversations that we need to have. Right. Um, right now. Shout out to DJ X3C in the chat room. Bubba. Yeah. Good to see you, man. Yeah, Bubba couldn't make it today. I know he's um he has other engagements. So uh, again, Bubba, I'm sorry um that uh, I have to do the afternoons, but your girl gotta work. <laughs> don't know, I don't and I don't I don't know when the schedules are when they are, but that's just how I gotta do to work some overtime. Um, because I'm black. I don't get to just sit here, make content, make some money and do it again and do it again and do it again. I don't get to do that. But one thing I will do every single time, because this is for us and by us, when there's a conversation that's being had and being led and somebody is an expert on it. Uh, yeah, we're going to be on here having that conversation. That's right. I don't, I don't care. I, whatever. We're going to be on here having that conversation. I, and mind you, this has been going on with, uh, my producer will send, um, things about Haiti all the time through text message. And I'm like, yeah, that's so last week, that's two weeks ago news. But yeah. now it's just, you know, I know these things already because I'm experiencing it. But now that I see that it reached when stuff touches American media, yeah, it's dangerous. It's very, very dangerous because what Americans are going to think of Haitians is only what um, America, me, American media is putting out there. Meanwhile, all they have to do is head over to the Haitian Times. All they have to do is go over to Jean Deuce. All they have to go to do is go over to Faces of Haiti. All they have to go do is go um check out Miami Herald, mm -hmm. where Jacqueline is is doing her good work. She's been she's been one of the uh, Haitian reporters there for so long. Uh, she's living in Haiti. Um, uh, Doctor uh, Bertrude, who's on the ground right now. If anything is you need to see and know, it's out there for you. There's resources. There are news channels. Those things are available. America is not Haiti's news channel. It's not. American so media. Uh, I, I it's, when American media makes commentary on black nations or brown nations, you can guarantee it's going to lead to something that's going to be detrimental to that nation. That there mm -hmm. has I have not seen media report honestly with integrity any nation that does not neatly fit inside of America's paradigm. White supremacy. we be honest. Yeah. Let me just cut to it. If it is a black or brown nation, they are going to cast them as barbarians. Period. Mm -hmm. And um and 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 I, I love how we say black or brown, but I, I think that we're at a place where we can actually just say, yes, black and brown nations get it. Black people, black nations, black countries, they get it the worst. We're at the bottom tier. Um, like I said, my cousin was up under that bridge. That lawyer, that advocate called me and said, I've been doing this for so many years, but for some reason. Haitians have been getting the worst treatment I've ever seen in my life. Mm. And I just don't know white lady. And I just don't know why. I, I just don't new. understand. Cousin talking to me on the other line saying he didn't understand what she was saying. And I told him, don't worry about that. I asked her what I needed to do. I was gathering my things to go pick him up. He disappeared. Called me while when he got to Haiti on WhatsApp and said, I'm so sorry. I couldn't. He was apologizing to me for what the hell those border patrol people were doing to him and sent him on a plane, put him somewhere that he put him in chains, put him somewhere that he didn't even know when he got to Haiti. They didn't know how to get where they were going to get, just drop them all off somewhere. That's what you didn't hear in mainstream media. You saw them under the bridge one day, but they never went back to show you they were gone. And what happened? It's frustrating. Again, it feels like I'm screaming out into the abyss, but one thing about it, I will scream until I ain't got no voice left. When it comes to my people, I... And the conversations that we can have is, yes, again, they need structure. They need leadership. There needs to be some cleanup. There needs to be all of these things. But I refuse to let y'all tell me it's going to come from people who view us as villains, terrorists, people Barbarians. who view us as a country that has no chance and opportunity. People who want to invade you. 
people who want to invade us. It does not. It, I will not accept that. And I won't accept that, especially from people who have no knowledge of the conversation, except for Sock Passe, not Boule. They don't even know that. But yes, yes. Shout out. Yeah. Yeah. No, it ain't. It ain't. It ain't happening. So, Ben, I'm sorry. We can move on from that. But again, listen, I ain't gonna lie, Rebecca. I'm gonna be honest with you. The Lord laid on my heart not talking about anything but Haiti okay. this week. <laughs> this week, like I had my revival, but then it was like it just hit me in the back of the head. Like, wait a minute, these these mother these people, help me, guy, are talking mm -hmm. about invading Haiti. Mm -hmm. It should be all hands on deck for mm -hmm. black people all around the globe. Could we? They will do it. Mm -hmm. They will do to Haiti what is being done to Gaza, and they will say yes, it's in will. the name of bringing structure. Yes, they will. So yes, now you ain't got to apologize. We take the whole mm -hmm. next hour. I know we ain't gonna be here for the next yeah. hour, but you know. <laughs> yeah, but right now I will tell you who um, is the U.S. representation for Haiti <laughs> because they have one. Give me one second. I want to get his name correct, and I want you to pull up his image. Um, for the people. Uh, the Senate confirms Dennis Hankins as the ambassador to Haiti. Uh, he has a career of a foreign service member uh, as the U.S. ambassador to Haiti. And um, this is a bipartisan roll call vote that ended in a decisive 89 to 1 in favor of Hankins' appointment. Notably, key senators involved in Haiti's policy expressed urgency in appointing an ambassador's an, an ambassador to assess the pressing needs. The capital, PAP, Puerto Prince, has been rocked. This is how they're saying has been rocked and coordinated by gang attacks targeting law enforcement and state institu institutions, exasperating the turmoil. You see how they say just that? Mind you, we've been, when, we, when, our, when our president was assassinated, they looked away. <laughs> they didn't cover it. They looked like away. Day, barely a day. They People were saying we need help, and America said, "Yeah, no, we'll help with an investigation." Because some of the people that were involved was coming out of the U.S. and tried to come back into the U.S. So we'll help with y'all investigations and stuff. But other than that, yeah, y'all don't get to come here. And Give us all your resources, that, though. Give us your resources. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, still want the resources, still will keep coming in and, um, you know, while all the wars is going on, on our private jets and planes and landing places and getting our stuff done and, and, and then, and then quietly leaving as well. Um, and whoever wants it, will partner with the people who want Haiti and we'll definitely, because France, I know historically, I know when the people be sitting in the room together, I know there's some kind of law written to make Haiti pay so much so that they have to give the land back. I know it's written down somewhere. I has to be. And every ally of France, people who look like what it looks like when you see Israel and Gaza, what it look like when you see Russia and the Ukraine, what it looked like when you, all of these countries and their colonizers and their former leaders and all of that, that's what it, that's what France wants so bad for us, but they, keep their foot on our necks and they will partner with other people to keep their gotcha. foot on our necks so that when we ask anybody for help they they cut us at the knees and make us beg for it yeah. and that's what Haitians will stop doing at a point in time you will see them begging they will say we don't want y'all sending clothes don't send us goddamn clothes y'all sending um food do you not know and do you not know that's what y'all they're sending food to Haiti right to say, because that was what they wanted to say, that Haiti would, Haitians are always hungry. Haitians are not hungry. They will make food with nothing. Resources are there for them. Food ain't what they need. Stability. Mm. Money. The money that's been Their raised. money. Yes. Their money. Yes. Their the money resources. That's raised on behalf of um, 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 Haiti. Where is it? Clinton's. Clintons and friends, baby, because they've Red been taken from us. That could have paid off debt to tell friends to kiss our behinds. The fact that why hasn't why why haven't we as a global community forced France to pay back Haiti the reparations they forced Haiti to pay France? It's worth one point nine billion dollars today. It's not even a whole lot of like today dollars. It was exactly. a whole lot of dollars for exactly. Haiti. Mm -hmm. Back then, when they had to pay a billion dollars worth of reparations to France over a mm -hmm. series of hundreds of years, I I'm just saying, like, the, the international community, instead of talking about invading Haiti, 
Why wouldn't you talk about paying reparations to Haiti that were stolen from them at gunpoint? But no, mm -hmm. if we talk about that, oh, then yeah. we would look and see what the French And yeah, with really interest. Are. They had to pay with interest to the point where y'all wow. favorite banks, whatever, I think it's called Citibank. Mm -hmm. um, they came in to um, Haiti took money and that's how they started their bank i think it's i believe it's city bank oh yeah oh yeah baby let me tell you oh. y'all favorite american banks baby it been cashing in too keep playing with it yes haiti has been a place for so many people to come and take advantage mm -hmm. mm. Mm. yep mm. it's city bank control correct? over finance of haiti's finances by 1910 mm -hmm. Citibank, which was formerly known as National City Bank of New mm -hmm. York, had control yep. over Haiti's finances. Mm -hmm. uh, facilitation of the 1950 U.S. occupation. So the 1915 U.S. occupation was by Citibank. Thanks, mm -hmm. Rebecca. I didn't notice. Um, yeah. Economic and political influence. They have had control over. <laughs> wow. Citibank. Yeah, no. I used to have an account with well, you. I told you, I'm Haitian. My dad, my father sat me down. And said this, 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 and this, and this. I had to get this stuff drilled into my head. Again, I never knew a lot of the things that went down too. I would have thought Christopher Columbus, because they still was trying to teach that, even found it there. Citibank. Oh, yeah, man. Citibank need to pay reparations to Haiti too. Listen, listen. <laughs> this is why I have revival, Rebecca, because I think God is tired of these uh, saltine. But people beans. are saying God, God wants this. No, no, well, see, that's that's because they serve a white supremacist guy, right? They serve a guy that to th that has to be small enough to fit into mm -hmm. what well, you you can change your battery. I'm gonna preach real quick. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm I'm so serious though. I want y'all to really, really think about the way they cast this religiously, right? They justify this using their religion, but when you look at the history of it, Rebecca, I did not know about Citibank. Mm -hmm. They are just a list of people who have exploited and extracted everything out of Haiti. And those are the same people and the descendants of those people who are looking at us today and saying that we should invade Haiti. Oh, Haiti is a barbaric nation. Haiti dicks X, Y, Z. And then they wrap it. Oh, well, there you go. They wrap it in their religiosity. They wrap it in their religion. Meanwhile, it's their economics. It's their banks. It's their politicians. It's their leadership. Got nothing to do with God, except the fact they use God's name. And then after all is said and done, they have the unmitigated caucasity to turn around and say the earthquake in 2010 was because of voodoo. This will happen mm -hmm. with the, the, the president who was assassinated. No, the president, I guarantee you, as investigations take place, we're going to see a direct line from the chaos that we see today and the assassination of the president. But I don't see anybody doing the investigation. Yeah, the, um, the Americans have taken up the investigation to start going in and asking questions to the wife. Um, uh, and because they laid, they again, many times you'll see America say they're not a part of it in the background. They are a part of it. So we, there were so many reports from actual, and I'm not saying that they're always uh, getting it right, but from so many <laughs> very credible news sources that said America was urging Ariel Henry to step down. Then turn around and we see Reuters saying America denies being at the hand of Ariel Henry stepping down, knowing that once Ariel steps down, the country now has no real leader. So what that, what that um, allows is room for what? Invasion. An invasion. Invasion. Because you telling me all of a sudden... They could have been, if this barbecue person, um, you know, who is partnering again with political gangsters in and out of the country to have as much power as they have. And exactly. I, I don't want to speak too much on the barbecue person, but I want you guys to go ahead and Google them um, and see how what that looks like, um, because it, it can be very problematic. But Barbecue has political ties to political gangsters in and out of the country. That's why he is very feared and powerful in um, in Haiti uh, and can make one call. That's all. And again, why I know this is true, that somebody like barbecue can have that is because I sat with political gangsters and gang, gang members who run certain areas of each city of Haiti. And if one says something needs to be done, or if one wants something to be stopped, all they got to do is get together. One puts fear, one puts the order. 
And that's how it's been working. Go ahead. Go ahead. And so I say this to say it's all because it, it works in the favor of the political gangsters at the top who are supposed to be working in the um, government for Haiti. Uh, and they sell, they, they will sell pieces of our country for little to nothing. Mm -hmm. Knowing that those pieces are the resources and all those things are so big and they mean so much and they carry a lot of weight. But they'll give it to Americans. They'll give it to the French. They'll give it to Canadians. They'll give it to any one of these people to and and for for, for almost chump free, change. for chump change, not knowing their own worth, just for a little bit of power. Mm. That's why politics mm. it does matter for a country like Haiti. But the people's voices need to be heard and they need to be in on the choosing. You can't have a damn meeting about Haitians with no I Haitians. Have no Haitians there, Secretary Blinken. Where they do that at? Palestine. They do that over in Palestine. Mm -hmm. Because the control. The, you, the people's voices don't matter. The people don't matter. Don't matter so much so. We saw we, Gaza was created because they don't want them blending with the people. They said that get the hell away. They gave them a small town with little to no resources that they flipped and dipped and made it what they could. And now that is taken away from them. And they're saying it's because of a, a, a instant that, again, we condemn Hamas over here, but they're saying they deserve that. The whole country itself deserves that because of what they did. And see, that's that, and that's the reason I, I do condemn Hamas, particularly because their strategy, um, like, led to far more devastation and destruction. I, I, and I also contextualize it for this. There's always going to be some people involved in your nation who don't have your people's best interest in mind mm -hmm. and who would take an opportunity to do anything that because it empowers them and they don't think about the cost that it costs the children all of the wives, all the women, all the children who've been killed in Gaza. And then I, I, I parallel that with what's going on in Haiti. And Rebecca, you mentioned something, people selling off pieces of that country for, for much of nothing. Mm -hmm. Hasn't that been the number one problem through world history has been the propensity of people of color, black people, wherever mm -hmm. you find us, there's always going to, and white folks, y'all do that too, but I ain't talking about y'all right now. Y'all yeah, have y'all yeah. I'm talking to us. When we are willing to sell off our birthright for a piece of chump change from an empire, and then we wonder why our people are divided for so long, it's because we have had people who look like us, who get paid good money to not only divide and conquer us, but they got paid good, paid good money to sell us into slavery in the first place. Mm -hmm. There's always yep. going to be Joseph's brothers. Yes. Joseph always had brothers. Black folks mm -hmm. always have had Joseph's mm -hmm. brothers who would throw us in the pit and sell us into slavery. Mm -hmm. Yep. Exactly. Yes. And what's funny is they don't want that. That's a hard conversation to have as well. That's why I said, I, it's okay that we can, I, we can call all the things in Haiti. We have people amongst us who are causing the issues, but it's not only just a gang problem. When it was an environmental problem, what, the, what was it? What were they saying? Well, before the earthquake, mm. before the hurricanes that were consistent, we were, we didn't have that much, but we were making things work. Right. We had a president. We had, we had a White House. And all of a sudden, now they're like, hey, yo, Haiti about to be, it's about to be free. That's yeah. who, who, who got dibs, who got dibs. And uh, those people are like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. We may not have weapons. We may not have things, but this is our country. And you're not just going to send anybody to come and take reign over it. We have to have a say. And if you are going into meetings and not giving us a say, we're going to be outside every single day. And whoever's trying to fly in or come around, we will, we going to see you. That's right. And we will keep doing it. And you'll have to battle us out. Okay. Okay. So with that being said, to the, to the states in America and the other countries around the world who are saying that they need to tighten up their borders because Haitians are on the loose. Go to hell. Go get my mom. Get, get my mom for real. <laughs> Come on. Like, because at the end of the day, 
I remember when some of y'all European countries needed help and assistance. Do this history too. Go check up. Check up on it. When y'all needed to go and get asylum, Haiti was the only place opening them doors for you. To this day, there are certain areas in Haiti where it's predominantly white because of that reason. Google it. South Africa. Hey, all these places on the face of the planet that are black through and through and indigenous, but occupied and controlled financially, politically, and economically by white folk. God don't like that, y'all. Mm -mm. I, don't, I don't care how many times y'all white supremacists, Jesus, y'all put up pictures in y'all sanctuaries, y'all going to hell. Mm -hmm. Or you get saved, you know, to get saved. No, I don't care. I don't care if you're praying to white Jesus with the, the good um hairline the hair, and, the, and, and the blue eyes. I don't care. I don't care if you're praying to Jesus with the fro. I don't give, I don't care if you pray into Middle Eastern Jesus. I don't care. I really don't give a damn if your heart ain't good and, and you ain't really for God. There's nothing mm -mm. there. And if you're out here spreading out lies and I don't care. And here's the thing. You don't have to think like me. You don't have to believe what I believe. I believe what I believe. And if I can bring you on board, that's fine. Yeah. If I can't, I'm not going to love you any less. Right. I'm not going to say that your your path to life. It should be death because you may look at me the same way. That's right. And 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 the fact that you no. This is this is where we have the problem in the world. We got Donald Trump, who is supposed to be a depiction of Christianity in America, yet is has so many criminal charges against him right now. Talks to people crazy. It docks to a black community of people in Atlanta, and because a, a black woman had the audacity to speak up, a black woman that I still find a little shady yeah. had the uh, had the, the the audacity to step step up and be the only one to put pause on him so that he can have some kind something, some justice for the people who were doxxed out here, who were put fear into for whatever when it came to the voting. He put her whole life on blast. This is the Christianity that they're talking about. Yes, yes, yes. And then, and then they, then they, they relations. There, there are allegations of him in relations with so many people, people in his team, people who are rooting for him on the conservative side, Republican leaders mm -hmm. who have so much under their belt when it comes to adultery are Sexual assault. still in place, but this is the Christian. They got, I got, they got, no, they got Rebecca. Listen, I, uh, we know the Lord, mean, we know the Lord around here, and we know the Lord mm -hmm. well enough to know that white supremacy will not tarry in the presence of the Lord. Y'all better get saved, Christian nationalists. Jesus is coming <laughs> back soon, and y'all gonna be on the wrong side. Don't even realize y'all the bad yeah. guys in the book of Revelation. Don't even realize they're working for the Antichrist, not Donald Trump per se, but the whole system. Y'all better get some, eh. and yeah. then they want to talk about voodoo in Haiti. Y'all about to burn hell wide open, man. Mm -hmm. They want to talk about voodoo in Haiti, but want to miss out on, on, on how they do witchcraft every single day, how they are plotting against people because of the color of their skin, mm. how they are building cults, mm. cults to praise and worship a man named Donald Trump. That don't sound like Jesus Christ to me, but that's your business. Uh, we're at the end of the show, guys. If you're still here, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I could go on and on. I know, I know Ben could go on and on and on, but it is a Saturday and we don't want to hold you. We don't want to hold you. I hope that you got a little bit of something today. And again, if you need to know, I'm going to particularly shout out a few of these pages. You guys head over to check them out. Check out the Miami Herald and go to their Haitian, Haitian section. Check out um, uh, uh, face, the Faces of Haiti, which shows you another side of Haiti, a positive side of Haiti. If you want to know what actually Haiti looks like outside of PAP, you can definitely go to the Faces of Haiti. They have so many different things and they're still following the news that's going on because they have people on the ground. Check out Dr. Bertrude. She is somebody who talks about Haiti all the time. Also, Haitian Times is doing a day by day. They're pulling up receipts of when they were covering this just two years ago and nobody else picked up on the story. So you can go to Haitian Times, go way back to their articles that they've been covering and to where they are right now and get this information. The only reason why I have no link for you to go give to or to whatever, because I can't give you anything and trust it in this moment. And I will never, ever, ever, ever 
have y'all do that. So right now, what I'm asking you is to just educate yourselves, get the correct story so you can align yourselves with what is true. The same way have you been doing it with Gaza, I need you to do the same thing about Haiti. I need you to do like, please focus in um, and uh, get educated, get the news. I, I would say John Dews, which I can't, y'all not gonna really know what they're talking about and VAIT, they're, they're doing the news and specifically Creole. So Haitian times will give it to you in English. Um, and, and, and it'll be beneficial for you guys. So, uh, yeah, at the end of the show, um, uh, I love you guys. Mean it. Ben, is there anything we want to add? All right. So make sure you head over to patreon.com forward slash like it or not. Oh, patreon.com forward slash like it or not. Sorry. We got a a patron party coming up on March 29th. It's for pay okay. of all of us, of so the Benjamin Dix show, like it or not, uh, 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 Beard Bonnet Chronicles, all the above, March 29th. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So, oh yeah. Okay. So we we'll 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 do the super chat. We'll do the super chats. But before I do that, again, um, Patreon.com forward slash like it or not. If you liked what you heard today, if you like the vibes, this which this is what we bring you every every single Saturday um, with whoever's here. This is going to be the energy. We're going to have a conversation. We're going to talk about things. We're going to have a good time. We're going to check in on your mental health, all of the things that black people need to do when we get together. All right. So make sure you head over to Patreon.com forward slash like it or not. Like share, subscribe, because those things matter for the algorithm. And if you want to, if you feel like God is putting it on your heart to go ahead and send the offer and tip your host. All right. Head over to cash app. That is BPD 2018, BPD 2018, Becca's voice on cash app, Becca's voice on cash app. And our producer who was here on a weekend, I know we'll be dragging him all around times. He got a life too. That is DKG 87, DKG 87. Um, and now we're going to get to the um, the super chats that we got. Let's read them. Charlie uh, says, have some coffee cash. Thank you, because, baby. Oh, that's you said just one? Nah. <laughs> now you can get two coffees. That just don't go to Starbucks. Listen, I got it. No, no, no. Just one super chat. Oh, oh, la. <laughs> Wait That's a minute. Okay. No, we can't. <laughs> now, y'all gonna leave us with just one super chat? Come on now. David, why you even make us read that one? <laughs> That's crazy, David. That is crazy. And, 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 and I'm not saying we didn't want to read you, Charlie, but you see, it just... Thank you, know you Charlie. Saying? Thank you. Thank you and so Smokey much. Rose, and don't you worry about it. You always sending, you always sending coins every day. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're not pressed. Listen, but we In are. The street. <laughs> I love you. Get us off the screen. See y'all next Saturday. Oh, we got one. We got a sticker. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for your Alicia. I haven't seen you in a minute, sis. Love you, sis. Thank you so much for your super sis sticker. Don't y'all start dropping them all in at once. <laughs> we got us off the screen. So. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Love you, meet it. <laughs> Like it or not, y'all. 2023. Let's start this damn show. Let's go.